Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the first time in forever with the newest edition of my blog, Ryan's Ramblings. For those of you who don't know how this works, my name is Ryan and I like to ramble about stuff. And I want to catch you guys up on a lot of what's going on in my life. But that's for another vlog. I'm just going to keep this one fun and talk about the wonderfully awful time catastrophe I had with my online dating experience. So, a few months ago, by a few months, I mean like a month and a half, <laughs> um, I was just like, you know what? I'm not getting any younger. Uh, I could use a date. Let's give online dating a try. So I signed up for this online dating site, which, no, no, what the hell. It was OkCupid. Um, I can tell you guys what it is. It was OkCupid. I know a few people who met their significant others on there, so I figured, you know what? Why not have white money take a shot? Um, so I signed up, and... I'm going through, I'm, you know, it's kind of, you make a profile, you pick your picture, so, and considering I'm the least photogenic person on earth, there was like three pictures for me to choose from. Um, so you put in all your information, you're like, wow, this is kind of cool. I get to sell myself, and like, I'm, like, I'm awesome. Like, you gotta make yourself sound awesome. So I, I sound awesome, and I'm typing all my info, and I'm like, I'm getting really excited about this. I'm like, this is going to be great. I'm going to go on these dates. I'm going to meet all these women. I'm going to meet these people. And just, it's going to be love is an open door. You know, I am just really, really killing it with the Frozen references today. Which reminds me, I really need to see Frozen again. Um, so I go and I'm like, I'm really excited about online dating, which does not last. Because I'm browsing through profiles and not much. Um, so I'm browsing through the profiles, and I see women who make these mistakes. And women, I love you guys. You are wonderful. But online dating profiles are easy, easy remedies to cure a bad online dating profile. So I'm going to give you three easy steps. When you message someone, and, you know, guys, you can date. This first one's for us, too. When you message someone, don't just say, hey, or what's up, or how's it going? Like, just be like, like, make an effort to show that you actually read my profile and you find something interesting. Like, hey, you binge watch How I Met Your Mother? I binge watch that show, too. Or, hey, you just love to eat pizza? Hey, I eat pizza, too. It's not, like, I love to talk about pizza, by the way. Um, so, just to show that you, you are interested and it will make me want to get to know you more. Advice number two, women, don't wear too much makeup, please. It makes you look like a clown, and I want to go to the circus because clowns are awesome. Um, but don't look like a clown. <laughs> That's completely beside the point. I just killed my own point. Fantastic. Um, no, too much makeup, um, it, I think it takes away from it, the inner beauty or the outer beauty as well, too. But, like, I would rather have a girl wear no makeup um, than wear too much makeup. I think it just, I know makeup is meant to. Accentuate, accentuate, is that the right word? Yeah, accentuate beauty, but too much just, it ends up taking away. And it's not good. Last but not least, this is a big one. Women, please don't make the kissy duck face, though. Like, that's not attractive at all. See, like, I don't even look attractive doing it, clearly. There's no one in Earth who will look attractive doing that, not even Jennifer Lawrence. So, just please don't do that. If you do that, I won't want to kiss you. I will want to throw bread at you like I would an actual duck in the park. So, please don't do that. So, with my awesome advice out of the way, I'm going to tell you my three whew, worst online dating stories. So, number one, this is a few days into it. I'm going and I'm talking with this girl and we, we start talking about games and we're like, hey, could this game happen in real life? And... Like, you know, and then that somehow leads to science. And it's like, oh, did you know science? It's so interesting. Like, I'm like, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not big into science, but I think it's pretty cool. I'd like to know more. So I'm like, let's talk about it. So she's like, for, like, did you know the earth is bigger than the sun? And I'm just like, is it really now? Because clearly, you know, that's the dumbest thing I've heard all day. There's no way the earth is bigger than the sun. It's just basic science. Like, and she just starts going, like, for like two minutes. She's like, yeah, isn't that? And I'm like, yeah, we're, we're, we're done here. Unless she was trolling, in which case, bravo, because I fell for it. Otherwise, come, like, no, it's that. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Next story. Number two. Um, cool finger motions. Um, it's fun. So, number two. 
um, I met this girl and we talked online and I'm like, you know what? She seems pretty cool. Let's ask her out to breakfast. So we go and we meet in an IHOP. Um, not exactly like the perfect place for first date because I think IHOP's overrated, but no, yeah, pancakes. Who doesn't like pancakes? So we're going and we have a nice little half hour conversation and not half hour, it was like about 45 minutes into it and we're talking and I'm like, yeah, she's all, I mean, not like, it's not like the, it was the best date ever, but I'm like, you know what, this is going decently well. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, she just starts going. Like mid conversation, like, I'm like, uh, what the frick is she doing? She's like, you smell. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't. I think I do. I'm like, I took a shower a couple hours ago, put on some clothes. It's what, it's what men do before dates. And she's like, oh, that's why. And I'm like, she's like, you know it's not healthy to shower or bathe more than once a week, right? And I'm like, <sighs> okay. Um, and she goes off for like 15 minutes about like all these negative side effects. And I'm just like, to the way I just give him the face like, Yo, yo, dude, like, come on, like, can we hurry this up? I want to get out of here. This is awkward. So that was bad, but it doesn't, it doesn't take the cake to the last story. So I'm already kind of like not happy about the whole online dating thing. I'm like, well, it's not exactly working out, but maybe there's someone out there. So I'll just keep kind of giving it a shot, but it's not really working out. So, and this was the one, this was the nail in the coffin. So I go and... I see this girl's profile and I'm like, this picture of her is pretty cute and she seems like a cool person. So I, you know, I message her and we start talking and I'm like, we're hitting it off pretty well. We we're talking online and um, about 30 minutes in the conversation, she's like, Ryan, before we go any further, there's something I should tell you. And I'm just like, I mean, that's not ever what you want to hear, but I'm like, okay. So she's like, I'm a woman. And I'm thinking, great! I love that. I am attra I'm, I'm attracted to women. This is fantastic. <laughs> you know what? What else is new? I knew that. Um, she's like, but I'm in transition right now. And when you hear in transition, I think you know she's getting out of a long-term relationship. She's changing job. She just moved to the cities. Like, it was none of those things. You can probably guess what it was. <laughs> oh gosh. So she's like. So I'm in transition, and I'm like, okay. So like, I'm transitioning from being a man to a woman. And I'm just like... <sighs> break. At which point I did this. Continue to bang my head on the wall for about another minute, um, and then drank a beer as fast as I could, and that conversation was done right there. So, yep, she turned out to be a dude. So that was not cool. So, at that point, I just said, "I am, I'm done with online dating. This whole OK Cupid thing is not for me." So that is my bad online dating experience, and a little advice for anyone else who wants some. So. If you're thinking about trying online dating, hey, maybe give it a shot. Maybe my advice can help you. Maybe it's going to end in crash and burn as badly as mine. Who knows? Have you tried online dating? Was it better for you, worse than you? Let me know in the comments on either here on YouTube or on my Facebook. If you like my video, like it. Or even subscribe to my channel. Hey, that'd be cool. Or, you know, I am also on Twitter at Ryan W. Hoyt. Follow me. I occasionally say cool stuff. So everyone, thank you for watching. This is Hoyt Money saying sayonara.